How to deal with abusive or malicious telephone calls. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Being on the receiving end of abusive telephone calls can be annoying at best and extremely distressing at worst. It is something that no one has to put up with. We are going to show you how to deal with malicious or abusive telephone calls. This information is based on Home Office guidelines. Step 1. Answering the phone. When answering the phone, it isn't necessary to give out your name. Hello, Carl Stimson. A simple hello will do. This leaves it up to the caller to introduce themselves. In any telephone conversation, don't give out personal details unless you are absolutely sure of the person that you are speaking to. I'm with uh, Barclays Bank. Avoid answering any personal questions about yourself unless you are well acquainted. Step 2. Don't respond. If you receive a malicious or abusive call, don't respond. Don't call me any more times. That's it. Any type of strong reaction is exactly what the caller is after. Just stop, stop calling me. Instead, leave the phone unattended for a short while, then simply hang up. Step 3. Keep records. If the calls persist, make a record of when they occur to see if there is a pattern. It will be useful when reporting the offence. Try the call return function on your telephone to trace the abusive calls. This can be done by dialing 1471 in the UK or star 69 in America or Canada. But it is likely that the caller has blocked their number to prevent identification. Step 4. Inform the authorities. Report any dodgy calls to your service provider. They will have a policy for dealing with it. They may even be able to identify the number and bar it. If the calls are persistently abusive or if your service provider recommends it, notify the police. Abusive and malicious calls are a criminal offence and they will be treated as such. Step 5. Prevention measures. If you are listed in a telephone directory, give initials only. Don't leave your name and number on your answer phone message. The caller should know who you are and will leave their details for you to return the call. Never give the impression that you will be away from home for a long time. I'm going to be away for two months, so I won't be back until the 14th of April. Just that you are unavailable at the moment is a far safer option. Done.